I remember one of the last networking events I went to before the pandemic hit. And I just went largely because I was bored. And it was an excuse to put on my blue suit and go out and step out. And I got my blue slip-ons right here. I don't know if you can see them or not. But, you know, it was an excuse to get dressed up and go out and network and everything. And I went to this networking event. And I remember talking to a pastor. And so he said, well, what do you do? And I said, well, I'm a digital marketer. And he said, well, pff, I already have a website. Bye. I said, uh, well, do you want to tell me what it is? So he told me what it was. I looked at the site. It was a one-page website. Had no way to really get in touch with him or anyone at the church. It didn't have an interactive map. It didn't have any sermon. So if I wanted to listen to a sermon to see what it would be like if I wanted to go there, you know, or a video or something, it had none of that. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to donate, you couldn't. There was no way to do that securely. And the pictures weren't, you know, didn't look very good. They were kind of stretched out and everything. They didn't look right. But for him, he was happy with that. Mm -hmm. So in a way, it was kind of disappointing for me because I felt sad. It's like, boy, I would love to do something for this little church, like what, mm -hmm. Joel, Os what Joel Osteen is doing for Lakewood Church. Mm -hmm. You know, imagine doing everything for a small church that an enormous church does online. Right. It's certainly, it's doable if they work with you. Right. So is is digital marketing for everyone? It is if you it is if you want to grow. If you oh, want okay. to work, if you want to work with me, it's digital marketing is for you if you're ready to adopt a new mindset of expansion and growth and exponentially, because that's what really excites me.